Hi and welcome to Life is Strange. This game has been recommended to me quite a few times so I thought it was about time I gave it a go and I'm really excited to see what it is about. I know very little about it. I couldn't even tell you what the plot is so that's going to be new for me to discover. But I've heard such great things, so I'm really hopeful that this game is going to be a wonderful journey and a fantastic story. So let's just see what's in store for us. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present and future. Choose wisely. I will try. Okay, an accident. She's been hit by a car? That's the first thing that comes to my mind. Hit by lightning? What's happening? I'm sure we can make it there. I am quite sure we're gonna make it there. Don't you worry. I just feel so tempted to check my surroundings, but maybe that is the wrong thing to do. I feel like there should be a button to scan my surroundings for something to do or pick up. Maybe it's just a straightforward journey to the lighthouse. Wow, okay, a tornado? Whoa. I still get this urge to pick up things. Blackwell Academy. Wow. How has this happened to her? Shit. <laughs> Is that real? Wow. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, that was so surreal. Famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. <laughs> Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't fall asleep. And that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Hmm. Arbus. <laughs> there you go, Victoria. Well, look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. <sighs> Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. What does she mean? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. <clears throat> Seriously, though. I can't I believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. <laughs> She's but not listening like to Mr. Jefferson. To me. Isn't that I, too easy? I feel like I should listen to him. What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I, have I should take a picture to prove I'm, I'm still here. What? Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily <sighs> selfie quota. Okay, let's take a picture of ourselves in class. Was honesty about the economic conditions of the era. That's not, that's not a good idea. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a 
Selfish. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images <laughs> for selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. <laughs> now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? What? Huh? You're asking me I did know. Well, I probably know. I did know, but I kind of <laughs> forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who uh -oh. knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. <laughs> Sad face. Hmm. Very good, Victoria. The Victoria. The process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first she doesn't American seem to want to do the schoolwork. I haven't kept you up with my journal as much as I should. In your textbook, or even online. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Oh wow, her journal. <gasps> There's so many pages in here. Maybe we can read through the journal at the end of the episode. I'm not sure the best way to read through this journal just yet. There's the bell. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the wow. art world. It's great wow. exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> I want to enter that. I want to win that competition. I don't think she does though. She doesn't Victoria seem doesn't to. Waste a second kissing ass. I don't like that Victoria at all. Photo. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Hmm. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I guess so, but I'm not dissing Mr. Jefferson, but that just looks like a standard kind of picture. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, teacher. Photo equipment. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even <laughs> has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. I was just thinking that. She knows her stuff. By putting yourself out there in the world. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. So he is a famous photographer. Okay, maybe I shouldn't knock his work so quickly. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. <laughs> and look at that vintage rangefinder. What? <laughs> she knows so much about photos. She's I cool. Known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Mm. So that must be the camera that Victoria is wanting. Five thousand dollars? Damn. Even her school books are <gasps> gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, fifteen years old? <laughs> and people laughed. <laughs> I don't like Victoria. She's not nice. Hmm. Huh. This might make a cool shot. I love it. I love how creative she is. And we can look at the photo as well. I wonder if you can pick the photo to zoom in more. Oh, I see. These are the photos that you can collect. <laughs> so instead of collectibles, you have to find things to photograph. That is really cool. I love it. So cool that we can check these out anytime. Hmm. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The Amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. I wonder what she is... So she's studying photography, but what does she want to achieve by that? 
I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That's cool. He must be really proud. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. Okay. I can pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. Then <laughs> I don't suck. Someday. I'm sure she is better than what she gives herself credit for. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. So they're working in Photoshop, someone's picture. That might be this person's, Kate. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Hmm. Poor thing. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Hmm. Poor Kate. She's obviously getting bullied. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Hmm. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. That's nice. I, I think Kate is feeling very down about being bullied and I don't blame her. Being bullied is not something that you want to have to experience and it seems that in this school <laughs> it's very easy to get bullied. Here's the poster for the <gasps> contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. I think he believes in her. I wish that she had more faith in herself. I think that over time she will. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV <laughs> for a class monitor. I can't <laughs> wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. I'm pretty sure that was the forest that she was in when she was having that dream sequence, I think. There's the lighthouse. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Okay, so the lighthouse is part of their town. There's so many things to look at. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. Wow. But I still dig my little instant camera. Sometimes a smaller camera can be just as good. Especially the instant camera, it takes different types of pictures. I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and hmm. serene. I do love how she has a photographer's eye. That's wonderful. I don't know whether to talk to Victoria or Mr. Jefferson. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always <laughs> get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Let's see if we can speak to him, but they're talking. You shouldn't interrupt. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid <laughs> handing in her picture. Oh, I don't have my picture ready. I don't like that picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. <laughs> but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? Yeah. But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what yes. separates the artist from the amateur. Yes, I would love for her to have more courage. Can I not hand in my picture? When do I get to hand that in? I want to be able to hand in that picture. Well, not that picture that she had. I think we can do a better job. I honestly wish that she had more confidence in herself. 
I think we're done in here, aren't we? You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a you Welcome always to the real world. <laughs> Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Teacher? I'm not sure. She plays it so <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. <laughs> Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. I don't think she looks like a loser at all. I think she looks she lovely. I think she looks lovely and sweet. She's a nice girl. Oh, I really love this. This is so nice. I just want her to have more faith in herself. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Kayla and Victoria. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Okay. Is this what the story is about? Someone that goes missing, a missing missing teenagers. Does does she become missing? Does Max become missing? I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. <laughs> Halloween blood drive. That's actually a really cool idea. I like that science room ah the science room <laughs> here's the portal to warren's brain warren so who's warren there's taylor always waiting for victoria so victoria is still in there isn't she with mr jefferson well they can do whatever they like Alyssa is always texting but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people that sounds a bit like me. <laughs> Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Nice. I love how she can genuinely admire other people's work and not be instantly jealous or down about it. Must be her locker, this. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. <laughs> I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as <laughs> usual. Bully free me. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> That's all they need, is just a poster saying, no, you may not be mean. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. <laughs> they must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. That's good. I'm glad That's she can see Dana that. Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Okay. Well, she seems to know everybody, that's for sure. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Warren again. Is it just... Oh, this... He, no. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Can I stop this? Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. <laughs> we should be able to stop this. Have, haven't you read the Bully Free Me poster? He hasn't read the poster. I wish October would last forever. <laughs> October is fun. I love Halloween and dressing up. Don't need a PC. Missed the poetry jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. <laughs> Reward. On September 16th, my backpack with all my school books and my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria after I left it on the table. Oh. You don't just leave things on the table. I half expect that for sale 
sign to be of the tablet. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. <laughs> Save Arcadia Bay. Over the past decade, climate change has altered the Oregon coastline, including fish and fauna. This has helped decimate the state's fishing industry, especially in Arcadia Bay. Raise your voice against pollution and save our historic town. Don't let your town down. Another missing person poster. I wonder what actually happened to her. That's the same girl. Missing from Arcadia Bay. 19 years old, Rachel. She is part of our story, that's for sure. Good thing I left my AK at home. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like she's been gone for months. She's probably not coming back. Unfortunately. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. <laughs> They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. <laughs> and it's got a poster on the front, 12 ways to stay healthy. Wow, there's so many things to look at here. I know that she did need to go to the toilet. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. <laughs> he probably doesn't want to get involved with the bullying. Oh, I thought that was a teacher. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. That's the school map. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? <laughs> I guess we all should these days. Uh-huh. I'm not ready to go outside. There's the lighthouse again. I am having a lot of fun just looking around. Yay, Halloween. My favorite time of year. The Bigfoot stomp. I should develop some school spirit. <laughs> Go team. Go team. <laughs> That's a new boy, Hayden. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Okay. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. <laughs> oh, she's so funny. They've got that missing persons poster everywhere. I hope that this story does evolve and we can find her. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all <laughs> over it. That's not nice. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Vortex Club. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Hmm. She doesn't seem to like this Vortex Club at all. But she did need to go to the bathroom. So, finally, we are here. Took a long time. Empty. Good. Nobody can <laughs> see my meltdown. Except for me. Oh, I feel sorry for her. I feel bad for her, you know? Can I go into any of these bathrooms? Now, who would bother to write that crap? I don't know. Okay, well, you can't use the the toilets. But she did say she just wanted to wash her face, didn't she? <gasps> Fire bell. Okay, I don't want to ring that. I could just look I at it. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. <laughs> at least I got out of science class for that quiz. I hate Victoria Chase. It seems like a lot of people do. This poster must drive people to have sex. <laughs> Who's Kate? I don't even know who Kate is. I'm good to flow. Thanks. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. <laughs> Fuck you. I never get a flu with my flu shot. A look at the mirror. I want to see my face in that mirror. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere <laughs> I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. <laughs> Am I going crazy? <laughs> I wanted to see that, like, lined up perfectly. 
Okay, let's wash her face. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. Hmm. You have a gift. Fuck it. <gasps> no, don't do that. Butterfly. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Wow. That is actually a, such a beautiful juxtaposition. A beautiful butterfly on a bucket. Just a dirty bucket. Please let that come out nicely. Hey, that's a guy. What are you doing in here? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. What's wrong? Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. Is this the girls' bathroom? So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now. Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. You okay. What are you doing? Come on, <gasps> put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Oh my you god. You're gonna get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! <gasps> no! Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, I can't believe he did that. Whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> how? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. That's the boy in the background that was getting heard bullied. This lecture. From light to shadow. From color to now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings... This is real. Now, oh, shit! Can you give me an example no, of a man, photographer? I cannot believe this. <gasps> the human condition in black and white. Oh no, her okay. camera. If I'm crazy, I oh. might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Hold L2 to rewind. Of of what? Yes, fix the camera. Yes. <laughs> I did it. Can you no I way. I did it. A photographer who perfectly captured human the human time machine. And <laughs> Anybody? Wow. Bueller? Max, don't yeah, freak yeah. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why are this? Wow. Because of her Keep it together, Max. Resources. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. <laughs> when I took my selfie, Jefferson She's asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Okay. Keep that to yourself. Seriously though. Well, let's take our picture in again. A dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what <laughs> you kids call a selfie. Wow. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, it's real. Mm -hmm. I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation. So I can go back in time. How the selfie <laughs> expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital yes. aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, but since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first What happens if you skip? Oh, I have to use the bathroom. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. <laughs> nice try, Max. 
But oh, you're no. not going to get away that easy. <laughs> we can talk more after class. Oh, no. Is there anybody oh, here shit. Who knows their Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits Maybe if a sharp we... reflective style like a mirror. If we can now go back totally again. Stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? So L2 to rewind. And let's just tell him that we feel sick. Whoa. Whoa. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly whoa. want to join the conversation, can you... The Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process. <laughs> invented by a French painter named... Louise Daguerre, around 1830. Somebody <laughs> has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <laughs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely Now she's popular, very angry, Victoria. because it gave the subjects clear defined features. But you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is wow. so far way ahead of everyone. Hey guys, nice. don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career <laughs> in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not hmm. to see me. Well, how did she get Max, this gift? you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. I have yes. to wonder... I have to wonder. I Max Caulfield, <gasps> don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Jefferson. I'd never let one of photography's future. Um, I'm not avoiding. I'm not avoiding, just. Biding time, waiting for the elusive right moment. Mm hmm. Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. <laughs> he looks Go like on. he's got a sore neck. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> Press L1 to quickly undo your previous action. Then should I... You, can you... Uh, yes, can you say Victoria, anything? You, still have to do your homework this week. you can rewind you anything. For the competition. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid... So now... You can say what he just said to me. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once <laughs> said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. Wow. The right answer is good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Wow. That is so cool. I just didn't realize that Mr. Jefferson reminds me a lot of Kamsky in Detroit Become Human. But I we need I to go. To get to the bathroom. Please, yes, you please. will. I can't tell anybody. There we go. They'll think I'm crazy. We definitely have enough time. Definitely, definitely. How do we okay, Max, stop this guy? Every step. I washed my face. Mm -hmm. I shredded my photo. Then the, the butterfly. butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Mm -hmm. We probably we need to... Out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. We need to you ring the fire who alarm. Who I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on. Come on put that we need to... We need to... Hammer, hammer, hammer. You are going to get in hella more trouble there we go. There we go. Nobody would ever even Take the hammer. Punk ass, would they? Quick, 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 quick. Oh. Holy shit, I... I need a hammer to break it open. I have a hammer. No, 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 no. I took the hammer. <laughs> Max, don't fuck around. Rewind. I literally took the hammer. How do I use the hammer, though? Don't ever tell me what to do. 
I'm so sick of people trying to control me. Okay. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this. Hang on, I have the hammer. There, hammer. Ever even nick your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Wow, wow, wow. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do I... not freak out. I feel like I need to pick up those photos, otherwise they're gonna know that it was me. They, they're gonna know that I rang the bell. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? No. Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. He knows it had something to do with it. That must have been the principal. That guy is the principal. Principal. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front <laughs> with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? No. Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Should she tell him? Oh no. Oh no, I don't know what to do. I think the circle is always the right answer. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? <laughs> it's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. Oh, you can trust me. I can't. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already oh, causing conflict. Three weeks. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. No. Now get outside with class. Please. I don't... I no, wish... he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. I am rewinding because I because am not going to go talk like to him. I don't want to talk to him. I just want to ignore him. <sighs> Enough, Max. You can't go back any further. I'm not talking to him. I think it's best just to ignore him and just get out of here. Unless he stops me on the way out. I'm just going to ignore him. Ignore, ignore, ignore. Hold on, Max. No. Come back here. No. What do I do? You look a little stressed out. What do Are I do okay? here? I'm, I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? My thoughts here is that I shouldn't report Nathan because I think that's just going to cause a lot more trouble. So I'm leaning towards not reporting him. But then I am also worried because he said something about telling Max's parents and I don't want that to happen either. You could always be upfront with me. I think we just have to hide it. I think that's the right choice. I just got sick and clapped. Damn. I'm just so worried. Don't wander around here. Get on outside. I want to do the right thing in this game. I'm sure that we'll have a chance to get Nathan again soon and to, and to do more about that. Where are we? Oh my god, there's the missing persons posters everywhere. 
Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. What did happen? I know that we may be able to solve this mystery. I just know it. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. But would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Hmm. Sure. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not mm. a high security penitentiary. Um... I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. Mm. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage. From the Native Americans who founded this land, to the pioneers who shared it in peace. Not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. <laughs> You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus <laughs> from going back to 1984? Oh, I don't know what to do here either. I think cameras would be a really good idea, especially with that Nathan guy killing people. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm leaning towards don't sign. I think I'm leaning towards don't sign because if she has this power of rewinding time, I think she's going to be able to get up to all sorts of things and the cameras may be negative for her. Miss Grant, I totally respect your passion and knowledge, but some security cameras make me feel a little safer. Oh. I'm not against security, Max. Oh. We should all be concerned when private space becomes public. Your generation has been tricked to think everything should be recorded. I picked the wrong thing. I meant to say, sign the petitions. Should I, should I rewind? I'm going to go back. Because I picked the wrong thing. I was stupid. <laughs> Yes, we are going to sign. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell <laughs> for a good reason. Oh, I hope that's the right idea. That's the right thing to do. Oh, no. I'm, I need to stop second-guessing all of my choices. It's just almost impossible to not do it. Posters over posters? Somebody really wants to find Rachel Amber. I would She's... so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. <laughs> I know that we are going to find Rachel Amber. Don't you worry. Hey, there's a bunch of people here. Hi, Hayden. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. <laughs> you look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Hmm. Oh, I can talk about Nathan. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems unstable. <laughs> he seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. Hmm. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night. Then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. Maybe I should. You mean hang with the Vortex Club? That sounds like <laughs> a setup to a horrible prank. 
<laughs> Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think mm. about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. Mm. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. Wow, did Victoria like Rachel? What happened to her? Rachel was in the Vortex Club? Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. <laughs> and I'll deny I ever <laughs> said that. I th wonder if Nathan had something to do with her. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Mm. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, you know, even if she didn't act like it. I'm more confused mm. than before. <laughs> it's such a mystery. Let's talk later, Hayden. That it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. I don't know about that guy. I am not joining this Vortex Club, that's for sure. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? <laughs> well, no, it's, it's, I might break it. Is that really yours? Is that even legal? <laughs> of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? No. Uh, you read too many conspiracy <laughs> sites. This might be too complicated for you. Honey, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Wow. That is so rude. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. That is so rude, but no, a drone is perfectly legal. Blows my phone up. <laughs> Who is this Warren guy? Huh? I want to. How do I read all of those messages? He has written many, many, many messages. He seems really desperate. He's coming on too strong. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> so he's, we're meeting with him today after school, apparently. We have other text messages. Maxine. And she's 18. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. So she can meet up with with Warren. There's so many people, day, so many names. So Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Yes. I am just going to take a look at her journal before finishing up. Oh, wonderful. You get to see the people. Details of the people. Oh my goodness. It's got really good details about everyone in here. The principal, her teacher, Kate, Victoria, Nathan, security guard, and about Max herself. What I might actually do here is leave screenshots of each page of the journal so that if you would like to read the journal yourself you can pause the screen and read it I am definitely going to read it myself but that would probably just make the video a little bit quicker for you
So my school day started with an apocalyptic dream and then ended up with saving a life and discovering I have some kind of power to rewind time. I don't know how to top that. Definitely. So this seems like a really good spot to leave it for now. I am really loving this game so far. I like Max. She seems like a really sweet girl. I really love her calmness. She seems very calm, sweet, gentle, caring, nice, genuine. Everything about her is just so positive. I really love that there's a character that is positive and also she's kind of geeky or nerdy in a way, isn't she? The fact that she can rewind time and choose different options and outcomes in her life is both really amazing and I also wonder how did this happen? Why does this happen? And like what suddenly caused that to happen to her? Why did she suddenly start to be that way? I have no idea and I hope that is addressed at some point later in the, in the game because I want to know how this suddenly <laughs> managed to happen to her. But for someone like me that loves to think about my decisions and second guess my decisions, this is both a good and bad thing <laughs> to put in a game because once I make a decision, what is going it's on taken today? me a long time to make that decision and it should be final. But now I can rewind and choose something else that's way too tempting. I am going to really try not to rewind often unless it's a huge, huge mistake. Like someone has died or something. I just want to try and make it be as natural of a choice as possible. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the first episode of Life is Strange. There will be more to come as I really love this game and I want to see what is in store for young Max. Have yourself a wonderful day, but remember if you make the wrong choice, you can't press L2. Bye.